Okay, so what is the role of a prophet? Do you know a prophet? Have you heard about prophets? And any prophet you know? Well, Billy Mayer. Anybody else? Nostradamus, maybe? Casey. Well, uh, uh, Casey, yes. Uh, right now, there are some people that are there that are doing some predictions. Uh, uh, starting every year, some people say, you oh, the world is going to end on May 13th next year. Uh, or um, you see, for example, in YouTube, there's a lot of that. Uh, please, uh, you, you can watch YouTube. You can just watch or see a lot of information from internet. Uh, but my recommendation is don't trust everything. Just be skeptical about everything because there is a lot of information that is just there because they want you to click and give them some money by clicking their video. So don't trust everything. So we know some prophets, right? OK, just imagine you are a prophet. What happened with you? You are able to see your future. You are able to see what's going to happen, probably difficult situations that you are going to live in your future life. Are you going to let it happen, or you are going to avoid it? Is the role of a prophet just warning on about something that is going to happen, just for we do something that is not happening? Probably what, what many people think about that. Let's let think a little bit more about the role of a prophet. So here I have a very interesting matrix. Uh, in that matrix, I put uh, what the people think in this column and what the prophet thinks uh, of his role. And here is if the prophecy is fulfilled. And here is if the prophecy was not fulfilled. So it never happened. So in the top left corner, if the prophecy fulfilled, the people say, oh, this is an excellent prophet. Exactly what he did is going to happen, really happen. Yeah, uh, the European Union was forcing the, the Russia to get mad and put in order to do an invasion to different places in north part of Europe and just invade also some western coast of Canada and Alaska. And it just ended up with a huge uh, war. Uh, there were atomic bombs launched from one place to another one. China was in conflict with uh, Israel and destroyed completely and with China and put some kind of uh, biological uh, uh, bomb and destroy everything. Oh, it happened exactly as uh, this prophet, Billy Mayer, said. What a great prophet. Because he was uh, just very accurate on what he said. If you're a prophet, imagine you're a prophet and you say something. What the people is going to say? Let's suppose that you see, oh, tomorrow is going to be a fire in some building. Don't go over there. And then the next day you see that there was a fire in that building. So you say, oh, my friend is a great prophet. Yeah, he was very accurate. But what happened, for the prophet thinks, he thinks that I am not a good prophet. The people are not learning. I, warned, I was warning them not to keep doing that what are they doing, to avoid a nuclear war or problems, but they, they are not learning. So I am not a good prophet. I am not fulfilling my role as a prophet. In other situation, the prophecy is not fulfilled. OK, there was not a nuclear bomb in that place. There was not a thermonuclear uh, third world war. There was not a, the destruction that uh, Billy prophesized. Uh, so nothing that he said really happened. So that prophet is very bad. He's not very good. What the prophet thinks? I am an excellent prophet because the people finally are learning. So you see the contradiction? It's very interesting. So the prophecy is there because it shouldn't be there. So something that is going to happen shouldn't be happening. So think about the prophet mind. So he is here not to say, I am a great prophet. What I said is going to happen, really happen. He doesn't want any fame. He doesn't want to be known as a very accurate on his prediction. If you see a prophet saying, it's going to have something on next year, and this year is happening, oh, it was great, and he felt proud that I was a good prophet. He's not a good prophet. The good prophets are the ones that doesn't care about what the people said. And that's something that I like about Billy Mayer. Billy Mayer doesn't care about that, what they say. 
The purpose as a prophet is not to avoid to us to uh, live difficult situations. This is not his, his purpose. The real purpose is to help us to learn so we don't need to live difficult situations. So if they bring spiritual teachings, they bring something that changes our way of mind, this is a real prophet. This is the core of a prophet. The core of a prophet is not telling about the future and just be, be careful with that. Just do everything that is not happening. This is not his purpose. The real purpose is just to change the way we live, the way we behave. So if a prophet is, doesn't care about what the people said, he just told about things that is going to happen, but his main focus is on helping us to be a better human beings by spiritual teachings or how to live the everyday life. So this is a real prophet. So the real prophets are there, hiding somewhere, but they don't want to be famous. So that's why I think Billy Mayer is exactly a good prophet because of that.